back to my channel. Today we will discuss pre-lab for experiment 5, geometrical optics. So the learning outcome at the end of this lesson, students will be able to explain the experiment to determine the characteristics of the image formed by convex lens. Okay, so for questions number one, what is a convex lens and how is used in the daily life? So a lens which is converge rays of light and used in microscope, telescope and camera. Okay, write the thin lens equations and define each symbol. Okay, so for our thin lens equation, we can use 1 over f equals to 1 over u plus 1 over v where f is the focal length, u is the object distance, v is the image distance. Okay, complete the table for each sign convention. Okay, so objective. Okay, for image distance, where it's positive, meaning that the image form is at the back of the lens, real or inverted. Okay, whereas for focal length, if it's positive, meaning that it's converging or it is a convex lens. Okay, if let's say it is a negative, meaning that the object distance is at the back of the lens or it's actually a virtual object. Okay, for image distance, when V goes negative, meaning that it's in front of the lens, it's virtual or it's upright. Okay, whereas for focal length, if it's a negative value, meaning that it's diverging or it is a concave lens. Okay, next. Okay, sketch the ray diagram. Okay, so this is the ray diagram where the characteristics of the image that will form here is actually inverted, real, and is diminished. Reduced in sign, meaning that it is actually diminished. Okay. okay, next, number 5. An object is placed 4 cm from a convex lens with the focal length of 8 cm. A, calculate the distance of the image, so we want to find V. Okay, so we use 1 over F equals to 1 over U plus 1 over V where F is equal to 6 cm and the object distance is 4 cm. Therefore, V is the distance of the image is negative 12 cm. Okay, so negative here should indicate that this is our a virtual image. Okay, B. Calculate the magnifications of the image. Okay, so the magnification of equation is m equals to negative v over u. Okay, so okay, so when we substitute v equals negative twelve, therefore we will get answer is three. Okay, so when m is greater than one, meaning that it's actually magnified. Okay, and the value that we get is positive. So positive here indicate that it's actually upright. Okay. So C, state the characteristics of the image form and justify your answer. Okay, so as I mentioned just now, when V is negative, meaning that it's virtual, and when M is greater than 1, so it's actually magnified, and the value of M that you get is positive, meaning that it's upright. Okay, so the image form is virtual, magnified, and upright. Okay, next we go to experiment, and then question number 6. The manipulative variable is the object distance, the responding variable is the image distance, the constant variable is our uh, focal length, and also the height of the object. Okay, then... D operational definition is M is equal to negative HI over H0. Seven, state the hypothesis of this experiment. The magnification M is directly proportional to the image distance. Okay, what is the focal length F and its relation to the thickness of the lens? Okay, focal length is a distance between the focal point and the center of the lens. Okay, thicker lens have smaller focal length and vice versa. Okay, number nine, how do we set up the convex lens to get the estimations of the focal length? Okay, so number one, you must choose the object outside the laboratory. Okay, adjust the screen back and forth until the sharp and inverted image is formed on the screen. Okay, number three is you must measure the distance from the screen to the lens. Okay, so this is how you get the estimation of the focal length. Okay, number 10, how do we calculate the percentage of difference? Okay, so percentage of difference is we take the experimental value minus the actual value or the standard value, okay, over standard value. And usually we will model this because we just want the differences between the experimental and the standard value. And remember to times 100%, okay? Okay, next we go to data analysis, number 11. The focal length of the convex lens F is related to V and U, also e, the magnifications by the following equation. So here they give you equation 1, 1 over F equals to 1 over U plus 1 over V. And the magnification is given M equals to negative U over V. Okay. Okay, next, rearrange equation 1 and 2 so that we can plot a straight line graph relating to the variable M and also V. Okay, so if you substitute inside, the final answer that you will get is M equals to negative V over F plus 1. Okay, so this is the equations that later we will use it to plot the graph. 
okay how to determine the value of f from the graph okay so from the equation just now m equals to negative v over f plus one and we compare with the equation y equals to mx plus c okay so from here y is actually our magnification x is actually our uh, distance image distance okay therefore therefore the value of f is equal to our gradient uh, m gradient is actually equal to 1 over f okay negative 1 over f so f will equal to negative 1 over m okay where m is the gradient okay next determine the focal length from the graph of when m equals to negative 1 okay so from the graph okay we try to interpolate the distance of the image v so when m equals to negative 1 okay use the equations for 4 to get the focal length okay so from the graph we will get the value of v okay then you will get the focal length from the graph okay next sketch the expected graph and state the physical quantities that can be obtained from the graph m okay so this is the graph where the gradient here is equals to negative 1 over f okay next list down all precautions of the experiment so number one make sure the lens is clean okay set up the light source object lens and screen in a straight line Okay, make sure that there are no other source of light in the room. Make sure we do it in a dark room. Okay, so no other light source. Okay, make sure that the observer eye is correct position. So we must avoid yeah, to reduce the parex error. Okay, so that's all for all.